Welcome back to Raw Talent Racing. It's your boy uh, RTR Tempo in the hot seat from Raw Talent Racing. And uh, we're doing something a little bit different today. Um, we actually attended a car show uh, in GT7. I didn't know it was a thing, but um, I got invited by a good friend of mine, Monster Dizzy. He's a very fast guy indeed. And um, well, here we are. We arrived late in our Ford Cosworth and uh, it's Ford Sierra Cosworth and uh, first time we turn up to a car show and um, not quite sure what's going on so uh, basically you have a judge um, there's 14 people in the lobby which is uh, quite surprising it's quite a popular thing on uh, Grand Turismo 7 which uh, I never knew about so uh, you have a judge um, which I believe is Big Smeddy in this round he won the last round so uh, when you win a round you uh, get to be the judge of the next round. So um, here we are in our Ford Cosworth, thinking, ah, oh, we're not going to win this one anyway. So our first event that we've attended. And um, I was quite fascinated by it, to be honest. Um, I don't know about yourselves, but um, when I was a bit younger, I used to go to a lot of car shows. And, um, uh, I used to have a friend who used to have a Vauxhall Nova and uh, he probably spent about 20 grand on it and about, this is probably, God, year 2000, year 2005, uh, so there's a lot of money to spend on a Vauxhall Nova at that time, but um, it was a 2 litre absolute beast and uh, we used to take it out to Santa Pod, uh, which is in the UK, basically it's like a drag strip and um, yeah, you'd have uh, lots of events there. Um, car shows and uh, everyone takes all their modified cars there and uh, we actually win this round in um, in the Ford Cosworth so uh, everyone's looking over having a look at the car wondering how the hell we won that but um, it must be my beautiful livery down the side of the car uh, which I made myself uh, not actually one RTR Slammer has designed uh, it's just one that I've done in my spare time uh, usually Slammer does all deliveries for Raw Talent Racing, uh, which he does a fantastic job at doing. Um, so yeah, we head back to the garage and then um, basically once you've won the round, you have to select the ca category for the next round. So you can actually pick whatever you want. You can pick American cars, Japanese cars, uh, what year you want to use, uh, what drivetrain, what colour. And then um, everyone gets into their cars, and then um, we uh, go back to the lineup. So um, I do actually pick uh, 1970s or below because um, I didn't actually have any many car. I didn't have many cars for this, to be honest. Um, I did actually sell a lot of my road cars, which I thought I'd never use, and uh, now I found a use for them. Um, you can actually take them to car shows. <laughs> um, so. Uh, I don't know, let me know if you've been to car shows in the past or where you've been. Um, I've been to a few in England, I've been to a couple of Brands Hatch as well uh, a long time ago. I haven't been to any recently. Um, maybe I should, I've got a Vox of course of BXR, um, which is a rapid hatchback, it's in mint condition, low mileage, so uh, I'm sure people appreciate it. But um, anyway, I'll pick uh, a category of 1970s or younger. So um, I just wanted to go on my Beetle, to be honest, to go and be the judge in my Beetle. Um, basically, I put an engine engine swap in this, so uh, you can't actually turn around the corner in my Beetle. Um, it's got so much power. It just wants to do wheelies, as you can see here. Um, so uh, it's rear-wheel drive. <laughs> Every time you accelerate, um, it's very difficult to actually turn around the corner. Um, I don't know if you've done any engine swaps, let me know if you have done any engine swaps and uh, what the best cars are to do, uh, I'd like to know in the comments actually. Um, so yeah, we head off out in our Beetle, uh, we're actually the judge of this round, so um, something new to me, I wasn't quite sure how to uh, proceed um, or what the rules were entirely. But um, we get there in the end, so uh, we pull up in our Vauxhall, Volkswagen Beetle. Um, it's definitely not a Vauxhall. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we turn up and uh, everyone lines up. We are a company based in Tokyo. It happens in Tokyo, so uh, 
if it's something that interests you on Gran Turismo, um, maybe you can check out. I wasn't 100% sure what car everyone was in. Um, obviously, you got a Ford Mustang there on the end. It was a couple of Ford Mustangs. Someone turns up late. Obviously, driving a Mini, you're going to turn up late. Um, okay, it actually, it's quite clean to be fair. Um, but yeah, there's um, a car over here. There's a few cars I couldn't decide which to uh, pick, but um, you got Alfie over there. He's in a, a white car, number three. Um, I'm not too sure what car that is. Maybe a Mercedes or something, that white one over there. Um, it's a pretty car, old school. Um, so yeah, we uh, basically look at each other's cars, liveries. Uh, some people slam their cars to the floor. Um, where they put retro liveries on it and uh, this guy turns up number P10 uh, not quite sure what that is is it a Porsche let me know in the comments if you know what it is so we've got a TVR there I believe old school TVR Mustang Beetle and then this white car I'm not too sure what it is to be honest but uh, it's a pretty car um, but yeah so we've got another late late arrival from Big Sleddy uh, I believe he's the one who runs the lobby or organises it. Um, I believe they do it quite often. So he's uh, he's friends with Monster Dizzy, and I'm friends with Monster Dizzy, and uh, he invited me along, and uh, I thought I'd pop along, and uh, I was pleasant, pleasantly surprised to be honest. Um, I ended up staying in this lobby for like, gosh, at least an hour <laughs> until I ran out of cars. So um, if you're wondering what to do. With the latest update, they've got new, uh, seven new cars arriving to Gran Turismo 7 in the new update. Uh, and from what I believe and hear, inside information, they're all road cars. So uh, maybe we'll uh, bring some of those to the next meet when it happens. Um, I think it's a daily occurrence. Um, I actually get it wrong here because uh, you're supposed to do third, second and then first. So uh, I get the order wrong. And uh, we go with number three. We uh, we pick number three as the winner. He's got like uh, I'm not even sure what car that is either. He's got flames on the front. Um, it's nice. It's a pretty car. So uh, we reward Oosh with a uh, P1. And then uh, I can't can't remember who we uh, give number two to. Uh, it's, yeah, it's Alfie in that cool car with the uh, white walls very pretty car I'm pretty sure it's a Mercedes correct me if I'm wrong and then um, yeah well, then we put the third person so uh, I can't remember who I go with uh, Big Sneddy uh, so he's got a nice car as well and uh, yeah and that's how you do it um, going to a car show in Gran Turismo is uh, just something outside the box which um, I didn't know was a thing um, but apparently it's a thing so um, yeah my friend wants to dizzy he wasn't too pleased he uh, was like didn't you see my car <laughs> I did see it but um, look at me still there waiting to be judged <laughs> um, but yeah good thing to do if you're looking for alternative stuff to do on Gran Turismo 7 if uh, you're getting bored of daily racing or, or lobbies then uh, yeah maybe you want to go to a car show um, I don't know if it's a thing you've done in the past or in real life or actually done it on Gran Turismo if you have let me know in the comments and uh, well that's that just uh, I thought you'd bring this video to you to your attention it's uh, like I say something outside the box and uh, an alternative to other stuff on Gran Turismo which is uh, quite fun so uh, until next time take good care don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you soon maybe on track